Alright, another common problem new users of Scratch Live often have is they don't know how to set it up right. Or they think they got it set up right, and then they go to play the first track, and all they hear is this. The annoying sound of the time code signal. So if you hear that, and not your music, then you don't have Scratch Live wired correctly, or you don't have a switch on your mixer set right. So we're going to go through and look at how everything should be wired up. Alright, this is the SL1 sound card. This is the heart and soul of the Scratch Live system. At the top we have the inputs, input 1 and input 2. Input 1 is for your left turntable, input 2 is for your right turntable. Now, typically that's not the problem though for most people. The problem is the outputs. They get them confused. We have output 1 and output 2. And then for each output we have a through and a line. Now, the music you play in Scratch Live goes out the line outputs on the box, not the through outputs. The line outputs is what the music in Scratch Live goes out of. And you're going to want to connect those to line inputs on your mixer, not phono. Do not plug a line level source, which is what Scratch Live plays out of, to a phono input on your mixer. If you do, it's going to sound horrendously loud and distorted, and you don't want to do that. The through outputs, however, do go into phono inputs on the mixer if you're using turntables. Turntables are phono level and the throughs are for bypassing. It's just a straight signal through. So the throughs go to phono inputs on your mixer. So throughs to phonos, lines for your music in Scratch Live go into line. So now on your mixer, usually on most mixers there's a little switch usually above the gain knob to switch between phono and line input. My mixer actually has a button, so this is phono, this is line. So if we have it on phono, and all we're playing is the control vinyl, all you're going to hear is the time code signal. Now if we switch it to line, there you go. Now you're going to hear the music playing in Scratch Live. So we have it on line, phono, line, phono. So you're going to want to have it on line level to hear the music playing in Scratch Live. So once again, line. Phono. Phono is what you're going to use to play your normal vinyl records, but since all we're playing is the control vinyl right now, that's all you're going to hear is the time code signal. So keep it on line to hear your music from Scratch Live. So there you go. That's how you properly set up Scratch Live to hear your music. If you're hearing the control signal, switch it to line.